गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे क्लास अबाउट सिंपल पेंडुलम इन लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट द स्प्रिंग पेंडुलम वॉट इज द एक्सटेंशन एंड एलॉन्गेश एक्सटेंशन इज नथिंग बट एलॉन्गेशन एंड कॉम्प्रेशन एलॉन्गेशन एंड कॉम्प्रेशन ऑफ ए स्प्रिंग इट इज नथिंग बट द ऑसोलेटरी मोशन ऑफ द स्प्रिंग हेयर ऑल्सो द सिंपल पेंडुलम सिंपल पेंडुलम इज नथिंग बट a heavy mass is suspended by a weightless inextensible spring that using the we are used one spring here one string is there that string must be weightless it means its weight has to be neglect and one point mass or it may this is a one mass is there which is suspended freely With the help of weightless string, then which is attached to the rigid support here, the weightless inextensible string from the rigid support, which is attached to the rigid support here. Its mass, the pendulum mass, considers here the m. M is the mass of that. Length is there, that is l. That is. Length of the string considered as L. When you apply a certain force to this one, I'll draw. I'll increase the length of this one. It's like this. The length is L. The mass is M here. Always this mass is directed towards the ground here because the This uh, pendulum is under the action of what gravity, so its force is here m g. That is called weight of the ball. Now, when you apply the certain force on this pendulum, when you apply the certain force to the pendulum, it is moving to and fro positions. And if it is there, if the pendulum gets a new position at here. it gets a new position at here now the length of the string cannot change it is always constant here this is called what the length now the pendulum makes a certain angle that angle is theta here theta if the force mg is always directed towards the ground opposite to that there is one force that is tension That is called tension on a string, which we discussed in the laws of motion chapter. Okay, now when the string is like this, like this, the body takes the new position from its mean position. Consider this one as the mean position. From its mean position, it displaces a certain distance here. Consider it is nothing but the arc length, or it is nothing but the arc length or displacement of the body. Okay, here always the mass of the body or weight of the body is always directed towards the ground. That is M G. It is always M G here. But there is a tension along the string. There is opposite direction. There is M G. But the length of the string is like this here. Then opposite to that, that become what the component of M G here. It is what the component of this M G because if it is theta, this is also what theta. Theta is an angle. Next, if it is theta, the M G is called the resultant force acting on this pendulum. M G is the resultant force acting on the pendulum. Now. It has the component. This side has a component of Mg that is equal to. This is called the adjacent side. This is called the hypotenuse side. Along adjacent side, there is a trigonometric function that is cos. That become what? Resultant force with the component is there. That is cos theta. It is nothing but what? Cos of theta. You get it? This is cos omega t or something. Next. If it is cos omega cos theta, yam z cos theta, it is along the it is opposite direction to the tension on the string, 
and perpendicular to this one. Perpendicular to this one is the direction. It means the force direction towards the main position that is called a restoring force. Here it is the restoring force. The restoring force is equal to what happened? Here mg cos theta and opposite to sin theta is here that is opposite to theta is nothing but this one that is equal to mg cos theta this is parallel to the restoring force okay these two restoring force then this becomes what so it is sin theta if it is sin theta this is also what mg sin theta mg sin theta i will remove this one Okay. Now there are two components which are perpendicular to each other. Here M G is the force that is a resultant force acting on the body here, or resultant force acting on the pendulum. Okay. Along always here the force is the pendulum is there. The force is always towards the main position. The displacement is always what opposite to that. There are two. Methods are there. One is force method. Another one is what the torque method. Then I'll derive only torque method here according to torque method. Okay, torque is nothing but what it is the rotating effect applied on the body. Rotating effect means if you apply a certain force on that body. The displacement of that body is perpendicular to the applied force. It means what? The torque is torque. Tau is what? Force into perpendicular distance. Force into perpendicular distance is nothing but this is the force applied on the body into perpendicular distance is there. Perpendicular. distance here the torque is produced on this body it is torque tau is equals to the what is the force here the force acting on the body is equal to what mg sin theta here the restoring force and mg sin theta both are in same direction it means what it is always here towards the main position because one thing one thing is the force is the restoring force is always what directly proportional to the displacement of the body it means it is directly proportional to the minus of displacement of the body if the restoring force is equal to what what happened the mg sin theta take here mg sin of theta this is what minus directly what minus you can take this is the minus because of opposite direction okay the force is the force is minus of mg into sin of theta one force is there it is towards the main position another one is perpendicular distance of the body here what is the perpendicular distance now this is the mg sin theta is a restoring force perpendicular distance for this one is nothing but what l L is what the perpendicular distance here both are perpendicular. Nine. So, so the perpendicular distance is L. Substitute in this torque that torque is equal to minus of m into g into sine of theta into L. Yeah, but when it is oscillating, when it is oscillating continuously, this theta consider the theta is a very very small angle. Okay, here by assumption, assume the theta is very small. If theta is very small, according to the binomial theorem of the sine theta, according to the binomial theorem of sine theta, its expansion is there. consider it is equal to nearly equal to theta because it is very small so
so that the highest power can be neglected. So it is sin theta is equal to theta. Then tau is equal to minus of m g l into theta is there. Cos tau it is equation number one. This is tau. The next thing is of or if you take the magnitude of this one that become plus. That is m g l into theta is there. Then another one is if it is that pendulum. It is the center. It is a. The, it become a center here. If the pendulum is continuously rotating like this, if it is rotating like this, it produces a circle here. And we know that one relation, a uh, one relation between the torque and the moment of inertia. That moment of inertia is nothing but the product of the mass of the body and the square of the distance from the axis of rotation. From the axis of rotation is nothing but what? If there is a one body, if there is a one body, there is a center. There is a center. The body is just at here. It means what? Uh, if I am a center, if I am a center, I take one stone along with the thread that is tied with a thread here. Just I rotate like this. If I rotate like this, it is continuously rotating like this. It is continuously rotating means my hand. This my hand acts as a what? The axis of rotation. It is a rotating axis. So that it is nothing but what? That body is continuously rotating. This is acts as what? Axis of rotation. If it is axis of rotation, it is nothing but the moment of inertia. Let let I be the I be the what moment of inertia? Moment of inertia that is equals to moment of inertia I is equals to mass of the body product of mass of the body and the square of distance between the body and the axis of rotation. The body and the axis of rotation is m into r square is there. Now here, here, if the pendulum is continuously rotate like this, this acts as what the, the axis of rotation. If it is axis of rotation, it's a radius. Its distance from the axis of rotation is the mass is at here. The mass is at here or at here. The distance from the axis of rotation is what l. Then here. The moment of inertia become what? M into L square. M into L in L square. But we know that the relation between the relation between torque and moment of inertia is there. That is, torque is equals to what? I is a moment of inertia. And alpha is there because alpha is nothing but what the angular acceleration where where alpha is equal to angular angular acceleration angular acceleration. This relation you can study uh, you study in the system of particles and rotational motion chart. Okay, then here. Alpha is the that is called angular acceleration. Then I is the moment of inertia. Torque is there. Call this is equation number one. Equation number two is there. Here equation number one. Here equation number two. And if you equating those two, if you equating those two, the magnitude of torque totally magnitude. Okay, the magnitude of magnitude of equation. Okay, you can take like this. Equation now from equation number one and two from equation number one and two here it is torque is equals to I alpha that is equals to what minus of m into g into l into theta is there okay but what is the moment of inertia the moment of inertia is m into l square moment of inertia is what m into l square but alpha is equals to here alpha is equals to minus of m into z into l into theta.
theta divided by divided by the moment of inertia. Or you can take directly that is EM into L square. EM into L square is there. One year one year gets cancelled, mass mass gets cancelled, then alpha is equal to what happened? G into theta divided by L. Z into theta divided by L. Call this equation number 3. Now we have to prove the general form of simple harmonic motion or general equation of simple harmonic motion. Now this is angular acceleration. We already know that here one part is there. Theta is equal to what angular displacement that is called angular displacement of the body and if you differentiate this one, if you differentiating with respect to time, rate of change of angular displacement with respect to time is the thing about the angular velocity. It is called angular velocity. Then the rate of change of angular velocity with respect to time is the angular acceleration is there. It is nothing but what d omega divided by dt. But omega is equal to what? d theta divided by dt. If you write this one, d omega is nothing but d by dt is there and omega is nothing but d theta divided by dt. d theta divided by dt. Then expand the method, then that become more d square theta divided by dt square is the angular acceleration. Substitute here. If you substitute here, then d square theta divided by dt square is there, dt square, take to the other LHS here, then it becomes plus g into g into theta divided by L is equal to what? 0. Now see here, we call this equation number 4, this is the general form of the simple harmonic motion. Okay, the general form of simple harmonic motion, equation number 4. I write the general form here. The general form of simple harmonic motion is d square theta divided by d square plus of omega into theta. So it is omega square into theta. It is equal to zero. Yes. This is the general form of simple harmonic motion. Comparing these two equations. When you compare these two equations, then what happens? Omega is equal to what? That omega is equal to at the place of omega square. At the place of omega square, that is g by l. That is g divided by l is there. That omega square is equal to g by l. Then what happened? Omega is equal to what? Root of g divided by L. The next point is, we have to write the time period of this one, the time period of simple pendulum. That is, omega is equal to 2 pi divided by t. Then t become LHS and this become the denominator of the LHS. This become what? The t is equal to 2 pi divided by omega. Then, 2 pi omega is in the denominator then reciprocal of the equation that is become what root of L divided by G this is what the time period of simple pendulum this is what the time period of simple pendulum time period of simple pendulum this is very 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 important for final question it is very very important question for 5 months. Okay? The top matter only. It is a very important thing here. The form is T is equal to what? 2 pi divided by L by G. Root of L by G is there. Okay? Next part is. What is the relation? Then what is the time period? So time period of the body or system of the some particles are there. Then what is the uh, what are the terms? The time period depends on. Okay. Okay. The next part is 
the factors affecting or the time period of a simple pendulum that is nothing but it is always depends on only length of the pendulum or length of the string is there one very very important points some notes are there one thing always the time period the time period of simple pendulum the time period of simple pendulum is is independent on the mass of the body it is not depends on the mass so that these two gets cancelled okay it is independent on mass of mass of the ball mass of the ball and it is dependent on and or but it is dependent on what is the term dependent dependent on the size of the ball only the size of the ball size of the ball means what if you take the iron ball and the another is a plastic ball is there okay plastic ball or aluminium ball or something is there only it is it depends on that much okay now for the i'll take one iron ball here the length of the string is same it is uh mass is there mass something is there then this mass is uh, it is called what the iron ball the iron is more uh, massive than the some other plastic uh, plastic ball is there and i take another one is the plastic ball or aluminium ball or something is there the length of the string is say the size of the these two box also say size are say the call is is i take here the aluminium ball okay aluminium ball but the length is also same here okay the both are there the mass here the m1 is a mass of the iron ball call m2 be the mass of the aluminium ball both are different here then what about the time period of these two if you apply the same force on each body then time period of those two must be same here because it is not depends on the mass but it is depends on the size of the ball because there is a center of mass of the ball it means center of mass means what the all mass is assumed to be concentrated at that point there is a point this is called what the center of mass these two are what center of masses are there if these two center of mass are in this aluminium ball the all mass of aluminium is concentrated at this center only this position is same and here also the all mass of the iron ball is assumed to be concentrated at this point only its position also same as compared to this one okay its its distance is always same from here to from here to here the distance is same here from here to what from here to here the distance is same again same the position of center of mass is the same the size of the box is also same here. but it is not depends on what mass in this i'll take the time period of the iron ball is as a t1 and the time period of the aluminium ball is t2 but in this form t1 should be equals to t2 because the time period does not depends on what the time period does not depends on mass 
mass of the pendulum. One point is. Next is. Next is one example. I take one example here. An example is nothing but one thing. One person is there. That person is playing a swing. Okay, there is a swing. There is a swing. A person is initially seated on this swing here, like this. He is just seated on this swing. There is a center of mass is there. It means the center, all mass of the uh, this uh, swing, that man and along with this uh, uh, wood is there. If it is wood, okay. Both here concentrated at the one center. It means what? Here, if it is the center of mass, if it is the center of mass, the length of this one up to here, from here to here, the length is L. Call this is length is a L. After some times, after some times, just he standing on that same swing. Okay, he just standing on that. The same swing is there, the same wood is there, and it is tied with that string. The length is also there, but he just stands on this swing like this. He st stands like this, but its point of center of mass become what? Different. How it is different? The point of center of mass is just rises. It means what? Up to here. If concentrated here. It means it is acted at here. Now initially it is acting here, but it is acting when it stands on that swing. It stands on that swing. Swing. That what happened? The center of mass is just rise. If the rise, the center of mass is rise. What happened? The length is decreases here. If the length is decreases, if the length is decreases, then what about the tension also decreases? Because if it is the length of the string, if the length of the string is there, if the length is very very small, its time period is what more. It means what the time period is very very less. Means the time is become less. It is the time taken by the body to complete one revolution is very much less. If the length is more here, what happened? The time period is more. This condition is when. A person sitting, a person sitting, sitting on a swing, swing. Immediately, what happened? Immediately, or something. After some time, after some time, after some time, he stands. He stands. On the same swing, on the same swing, then what happens? The center of mass, center of mass rises. Just look at here. The center of mass what? Just rises. If it is rises, what about the length here? Decreases because the center of mass is inversely proportional to the length here. You consider that what center of mass is inversely proportional to the length. Then the length of the string, length of string what decreases. If the length of the string is decreases, then what about the time period? The time period also, the time period also decreases because. Why it is decreases? 
because the time period is directly proportional to the root of length because z is what zero sorry z is what constant here because the z is constant z is constant so that so that the time period if the length is decreases what about the time period it is also decreases the next condition the next condition is there that is the moon it means the relation between the time period of in the time period in the earth on the period of the body in the moon okay one thing i'll write here take one clock that is the clock pendulum is there and you have your you have your moon that uh, clock pendulum is there in the clock pendulum okay take the clock pendulum whose time period in the earth is t i take here the time period is t whose the time period time period on the earth on the earth is t here on the surface of earth it is a t take it or it is t e i take t e and when it is moved or when it is kept in the moon when it is kept on surface of moon then what happens on surface of moon because the size of the earth and the size of the moon are there it means the as compared to the size of the moon is very very very, very bigger the size of the earth is there it means the size of the earth is very much more as compared to the moon so that the center of mass of the earth is what the maximum the center of moon is very much bigger and become more very very simple if it is the moon consider this is moon and consider this is what earth earth then what happened the center of earth is there its distance is very less the same thing is there the size of the earth and moons are also there then in this one the distance is what very very less okay the radius is very very less because the gravity is what the gravity is there okay the gravity is less if the gravity is less as compared to moon the gravity of earth is what maximum okay here the gravity of moon and gravity of earth is also there okay the one thing one thing is very important according to this one the gravity of earth is six times of the gravity of the moon what is that the gravity of earth is six times of the gravity of moon is there Six times of gravity of the moon. Okay, if you want to take the gravity of moon, na, then what happened? Gravity of Earth is six times of gravity of moon. Then what happened? The time period is it increases or decreases? We have to check it. Now the time period of this clock pendulum, the time period of clock pendulum on the surface of moon, and what is the uh, time period of Uh, clock pendulum on surface of the earth here here and take the time period of this one that is earth as compared to time period of moon we have the same formula that is 2 pi under root l divided by g e is that g e is that divided by 2 pi under root l divided by g m is there. These two gets cancelled. The length of the clock pendulum is its clock pendulum length is always same. L l is gets cancelled here. If that cancelled, this becomes the denominator. The denominator of denominator becomes what the numerator of that. T e divided by t m is equal to what? Root of root of g m divided by G is there. 
Gm divided by Ge is there. If you want to calculate this one, that what happened? The time period of the Earth as compared to Moon, but the gravity is there. Here the gravity of Earth is equal to what? Six times of the gravity of Moon. Okay. But the Gm as it is called is Gm as it is. Then the gravity of Moon, what happened? The gravity of moon is same, same. But the gravity of Earth is what happened? It is six times of Gm. Six times of Gm. These two get cancelled. Okay. The root of six. Root of six and root of Gm is that these two get cancelled. If these two get cancelled, what about the time period on the surface of moon? The time period on the surface of moon it is the six times of the time period of what? The Earth. Root of six times of the time period of the pendulum on the surface of earth. It means what? The time period of earth is more or less. Here the time period of earth is there. The time period is just increasing here. in this. The time period. The time period is increasing. The time period is just increasing. Okay. This is, these are the two examples of the what time period of the simple pendulum. One is, one is the person seated on a swing, another one is the clock pendulum of the clock pendulum on the surface of earth and on the surface of moon is there. There are two examples of that. The last one is the ship, that the lift is there. What about the lift? We already studied in the laws of motion. If the lift is at rest and if it is moving a constant velocity and it is moving the vertically upwards and it is moving the vertically downwards, in that chapter we discussed that apparent weight of a man who is uh, standing in the lift. Okay. Now, what about the time period of that? We have to check it. The lift is continuously. It means the lift is moving upwards or downwards, upwards and downwards. This is nothing but the what the oscillatory motion also there. Next is periodic motion of a system. Periodic motion of a system. Take here, just uh, take one lift. Lift as an example here. One thing, first one is if the lift is there, okay. One thing, the time period of lift, if the lift is at rest, first condition is if the lift is at rest or or moving moving with uniform motion or uniform velocity or constant velocity or constant velocity there are there is two conditions if it is at rest displacement of the body is what zero then velocity is what? Zero. Then acceleration is what? Zero. If it is moving with a constant velocity, if it is moving with constant velocity, the acceleration is also zero. Acceleration is also zero. Then at this situation, the acceleration of your body is zero. I will write to one general form here. It means that body is, that lift is moving downwards or upwards. Downwards or upwards with a constant velocity. I will take here the velocity is what? The constant velocity. If the constant velocity is there, what about acceleration? And the acceleration is what? Zero. The lift is at if the lift is at rest, the same condition is applied right here. I like one general form, simple. We have substituted the value of acceleration here only. Alright, you using this one, you can understand this concept easily the general form because the time period is equal to 2 pi root of L divided by Z effective 
it means what acceleration due to gravity effective acceleration due to gravity is there that is called z effective is equal to what it is called effective effective acceleration due to gravity effective acceleration due to gravity one general formula thing but how to calculate this one g effective is equals to always that if to wants to move downwards because of gravity is there if you remove this one if you know if you not applied any force on this body always the gravity is there that is mg mg if you neglect in this mass because the time period is not dependent on the mass so if you neglect that mass gravity is always there so if gravity is always there then what happened general form is gravity is always there plus acceleration this is general form i will write only the general form here general form the first condition is here the first condition is there that is what the lift is at rest whatever acceleration zero if the particle is moving with constant velocity what about the acceleration what that is also zero at this condition the acceleration is zero the g effective is equal to what only g and here the effective is equal to g then what about time period the time period is simply the form is v is equals to 2 pi root of l divided by g effective what about g effective that is g this is the time period when the lift at rest when the lift at rest the second condition is if the lift if the lift moving moving upwards see here upwards at the rate of oh, with the acceleration with acceleration what a a is an acceleration of the body here that lift now if it is a lift it is moving upwards as speed means what always the every particle wants to move downward with the rate of g always g is there the man is standing in the lift here but it is moving upwards means we are applying certain force here it means we are pulling like this lift is moving like this nothing but there is some force is applying the some force is applying means the gravity is there it is applying upwards we are giving acceleration here if we are giving acceleration means it accelerate it is moving forward like this now it is moving the some extra acceleration is given to that so it means the plus of a is there acceleration is plus because we are accelerating we just changing its direction now it means what the g effective force is equal to what happened plus is there acceleration is there g plus of a directly you can write here directly next next is the time period what about the time period the time period is t is equals to 2 pi root of l divided by g plus a now the denominator is increasing if the denominator is increasing what about time period time period is what is decreasing because this one inversely proportional then the time period is what decreasing decrease the next condition is if the lift if the lift moving moving downwards downwards with acceleration with acceleration what a a is an acceleration that body that lift is going to moving downwards if it is a lift the man is standing in this lift the gravity is always there but if the gravity is 
downwards okay but we are applying certain acceleration is nothing but what here the acceleration become work always that body that lift is moving downward if we keep that uh, starts to go if you keep if you keep that body move freely here there is no necessity of the acceleration huh? but we have to stop that lift at a certain position because because we are applying certain acceleration means what we are we wanted to stop the lift here we want the stop the lift like this to stop the body means what the negative acceleration is there the negative acceleration means retardation that become what retardation then it become what t then g effective is equal to g plus of a is there that is become what minus a minus a then what happened the time period is t is equal to 2 pi root of l divided by g minus a we want to stop the lift at a certain position because it means what we are applying certain retardation that is what here the time period is decreasing yes because it is increasing it is decreasing na? so time period is what increasing here increasing t is increasing the last part is the last part is if the lift is the lift is moving moving free moving free with acceleration what g freely moving means it is always downwards yes freely moving it means what it is always downwards like this with the acceleration g is there it is the always the acceleration due to that is applying that it is if it is moving that freely then a equal to what happened a equal to g here a a equal to what minus g a equal to minus g because moving downwards because moving downwards then g effective is equal to what g minus of g is equal to 0 if g effective is equal to 0 then time period equal to what 2 pi root of l divided by 0 0 divided by anything is nothing but sorry anything divided by 0 is nothing but what infinite so time period is infinity infinity one point is very important that is nothing but the time period the time period at the center of earth center of earth is always infinite infinite because at the center of earth the g effective is zero the acceleration due to gravity is always zero at the center of the earth in next part we discuss about the some types of the oscillations the damped oscillation and undamped oscillation thank you